I find meaning in the wreckages of human endeavor. I call myself Indiana James, and I was born in Indiana, and that's why I have a right to call myself that. People ask me the difference between Indiana Jones and me, and I say, well, the difference is I'm real. We grew up about 100 miles apart. We have the same accent, and we happen to be the same age. He hasn't rung me yet, so I haven't met him. <laughs> For me personally, it's who I am and what I do. It's not what I'm called. Well, while I was an oil geologist, one of my bosses accused me of being a closet hippie. So I always have been an environmentalist, and the, and the trade-off for me of working that job and being an environmentalist is pretty tough. What I do now for a living is about as close to doing no harm as anybody could do. The wild animals of Australia, we have no idea how privileged we are. A, that most of them are here, and B, that we have this diversity, especially in the bird life. It's completely amazing compared to any other continent. So I have an endless supply of inspiration in the critters that run around here. And I'm also fascinated by human history, so I can use what I call the wreckages of human endeavor to create the animals I'm interested in. The bottom line for me became a matter of interest, and I have an indulgible interest in Australian wildlife. I looked at this, and that's the tail of a southern emu wren right there. So I'm going to grab up a piece of driftwood, not unlike this, and that those little spoons are going to become the tail of that wren. And they're immaculate sculptures in their own right, these little figures. And that's the cool thing about what I do is people look at it and first they think it's a bird, and then they say, oh my gosh, that's a blah blah blah. All right, and it gives a second level of, of interest to the piece, and it's magical. So now what I get to do is go through the rest of this stuff and go looking for, for wings. Sunshine is uh, entirely hard farm machinery and tools. So the entire coat of sunshine is made from plow points, uh, the type that could be knocked on, knocked off. And then she's got gears inside her belly. She has the old shoe lasts that they used to do shoe soles for gears. She's got a motorcycle piston for a nose, okay? And it's a joy to make those sorts of things. The piece took me 40 days to build. He's called Sunshine because he has a Sunshine Harvester gear for his stomach, and you can read the word Sunshine embossed on it if you look hard enough. It's great to make a giant form that people stand back and say, oh, wow, that's wonderful. But it's even better if then they come up to investigate. If you get close enough, you see something extra. I think it weighs half a metric ton. I had to install it in four pieces because you couldn't lift one of those. And I even had to build a tripod to lift the torso part up into place and bolted together. We've got a thousand species of fishes just in our southern Australian waters. I've always been fascinated with the creatures. So I've got an endless array of, of creatures to, to make. Linda and I both love fish, and I, can, I know my way around a fish. One of the things we do for fun here where there's no movie theater and we don't own a TV is cook. We cook something pretty sensational for the two of us almost every night. I'm here because this is an exquisitely beautiful and still remote place. And that suits me, you know, to a tee.